In any multiplayer game, you want to be getting as many frames as possible per second it allows you to react slightly quicker and generally provides a much smoother gaming experience. In Escape from Tarkov, this is just as important as in any other game, but players have found that their FPS can be quite up and down, but in this video we will fix it and help you keep it as high as possible. There are already two videos on my channel that were dedicated specifically for Tarkov. In one video, I completely dismantled the graphics settings of the game, be sure to watch this video if you want to get high FPS in the game. The second video is dedicated to the settings of the NVIDIA video card, there I showed how to properly configure the NVIDIA video card to improve your FPS in Tarkov. First I recommend watching these videos if you want a good FPS in the game. And if you have already watched these videos, then let's move on to the secret FPS boost in Tarkov. In the descriptions for this video, I will leave a link to download the file we need. Download and extract to your desktop. After that, apply all the tweaks that are in this file. These files disable all unnecessary functions and processes that load your system and thereby reduce your FPS. After applying these tweaks, you should see an increase in FPS in the game. Watch and follow my steps. This power scheme will give you maximum performance in the game. That's why I recommend using it. To apply it, make sure you check this box. Now let's move on to the system settings. Just copy my settings and see what is disabled for me. Escape from Tarkov is a pretty great game, and if one is able to play it without any issues. I think that the game's graphics are also pretty fantastic, and it's no surprise that it demands so much from PC. The methods which we mentioned in this video were completely safe. They will not only help you increase FPS and get stable performance, but they will also enhance your Windows 10 experience by increasing its speed and responsiveness. Thirdly, these methods aren't out of the blue. They are very basic, and anyone who plays games and wants the best performance should be aware of it. Lastly, if you are still unable to get high FPS, despite following all the steps, I'll recommend you check your temperatures and hardware. That goes on to say, see if your hardware is up there with minimum and recommended system requirements. Well, that's all for me, I hope I helped you. 
If yes, then I ask you to subscribe to the channel and like this video. This inspires me to create new videos for you. See you soon, friends.